Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very special video because we are celebrating 1000 subscribers. I can't believe it, it's been 13 days. That's where I uploaded the last 100 subscriber special and the only one, but this is the next subscriber special because, well, the 1000. And we're gonna top the other one because we will play with garlic again, but this time more fun. I hope it doesn't take as long. The challenge is use only garlic as a weapon and win the game. Now, before we do that, and skip ahead if you don't want to hear that, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you a lot to everyone that decided to subscribe and stick around. And the stick around is the main part because I expected a lot of people will fall off, you know, they, they decided to subscribe at one video and then they realize it's not their stuff, you know, he doesn't constantly do gold record runs or whatever they subscribe for, or, you know, maybe, maybe people subscribe and they stay subscribed, but they just don't watch the videos, but holy, your guys' engagement with the videos is absolutely insane because I can see the analytics, okay? I see what you're doing, I mean, aside from me obviously seeing the likes and the comments stuff, right, so I... I see if someone is subscribed and comments if, if they show it and it's crazy. So just for comparison, right now I'm, I think my channel has 120,000 views and I have 1,000 subscribers, right? And you subscribers make up 5% of my total watch time. Do you know how crazy this is? Like in relation views to subscribers, you're less than 1% but you make up 5% of my watch time absolutely insane i have no idea how you do this but i want to thank you so so much and i don't even know what to say so let's just begin because i've been talking for two minutes let's get into it so i have four i mean sorry i have three competitors because poe doesn't count this guy is super creepy like look at this every one of them is just like yep i'm i'm not looking at the butt like put the buttocks in front of me i'll ignore it what's he doing right at it right into the crack okay so no i'll i'll not do that okay and and the mario lo looks like same like he kind of looks down right like if you if you focus the shade here implies that he's looking down that is so creepy so point is antonio buffs up the damage of garlic arca buffs up the damage of garlic porta buffs up the damage of garlic by area speed and damage okay so i want to try out who of these can win now uh, it might be obvious i got into modding I never did anything in JavaScript, and I'm not saying I could write my own mods and do stuff, but I'm very good at copying things and pasting things, you know, I work in IT, so that's pretty much 90% of my work. And yeah, I managed to do this. I also changed the weight in the game, which means the items and weapon that I want, so it's garlic and the items that make it better, they have an insanely high weight, so watch this, okay? Let's start with... do we want to start with Porta? Um, I think I want to start with Arka. I don't want to play all of them, okay? The point is to finish this challenge. Let's start with Arka. No, let's start with Ant let's start with Arka. Okay. So, let's talk about the challenge and the elephant in the room. I already mentioned it, the modding, but what is modded? What did I do? I I don't mean to explain how to mod. I mean to say what did I change? As I said, the weight of the weapons and the items that we are going for, as you see, garlic, hey, amazing, all the time, as well as some items that we will need, and the skip. The skip is also modded, as you see, we have 501 skips, because otherwise, we either stay on a very low level, which makes the enemies insanely weak, right, and we will still pick up experience and level up, and I'm forced into another weapon, and I said no. I want to have this garlic only. No laurel for shield, no clock lancer to freeze the enemies eventually. It will happen, it will help, I don't want that. Garlic only. It does not have an effect on our power, it does not have an effect on this challenge, it just means we are really limited to only garlic. Garlic. Yes, garlic. <laughs> garlic. And the last thing that I adjusted is another thing. So, to explain, the soul eater gains bonus damage the more you heal. I'm not gonna spoil the values, but you have to heal a total of 3600 health for the max damage that it can deal. I'm not gonna spoil how much damage because we'll see that in the video, but it's a lot. I didn't change that of course, that is how it is, that is how the weapon is, but what I did change is the boss at minute 3 will drop a chest that can upgrade our garlic if it's maxed out. Because we need to get going with the challenge, right? We want to see if this could win or not, 
The other option would just be to max out the weapon right away from get-go, but I think that would be very boring. So I decided to go for this option, max it out early, get it stacked up. You'll see it's actually not that simple early on to stack it up either way, because the enemies just die. You don't get close enough to take damage from them. The only ones that you can do it with are bosses, but they die really quickly with an upgraded weapon, even with garlic. So yeah, that's the three changes that I did. The weight of the weapons, the skips, and that the boss chest drops a chest that will upgrade our uh, garlic, evolve it. And there it is, the three minute mark is hit. Let's collect all the experience that accumulated. Isn't this one of the best feelings that can happen in this game? Where you just collect a bunch of experience? Now I had to upgrade the empty tome to five because we know of the bug, right? If you have a weapon maxed out when it can't level up anymore, the empty tome upgrades will not apply. Like if you, let's say, I max out the garlic, I evolve it, right? No more level ups, nothing that changes its stats. Afterwards, I get the empty tome, I get it to level 5, that has zero effect on the weapon. So we have to do that first, otherwise we could have the wolf weapon a bit earlier, but hey, that's just how it is. Let's take some damage, because we can start healing right away once we have the garlic evolved, and I'll just get us some experience here, that I can evolve the garlic. And there we go, garlic level 8. Now we just have to take out this boss. I want to be really low health, that I can heal the maximum amount, because, like... Oh, this is so dangerous. Come on. Uh, well, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. I actually shouldn't be that stupid and do this. It's It sounds like, like 3,600 sounds like a lot, but keep in mind we have, what, 133 health. So right now I'm probably at below 20 health. And that means I already made 110 of this health once I'm healed up. And there will be waves that just give you an insane amount of enemies. Where you can heal up a ton, and again, we can do also do it with food, right? Oh, the cross will be really good for later. But yeah, we can also use food to heal up health and stuff like this. So I think it's definitely doable. The sad part is there's not a single indicator to show you, hey, I'm, I'm about to be maxed out, you know, or hey, you got 50%. Sadly, we don't see that. The only way to do it is keep an eye on the damage that it, a garlic does. So right now it's on 21 to, I think 30 was the highest? 21 to 29, not 30, there was a 30. And then let's see later on how much damage this will have. I, I don't understand the Banshee. Sometimes it does half my health as damage, which would be amazing here, but the last two, they just died. Okay, let's see if this one works. What? So does it die the moment it explodes? Wait, I'm gonna walk towards it. Okay, okay, I think just walking slightly towards it gives it enough time to survive. I guess it's really like a really close window with the damage that we do, that it dies right before it explodes, but the animation is still going off. Okay, Pomerola, there we go. Oh, let's farm some damage. I'll try to avoid going below half health. By the way, hey! I have a theory on how far I can get if I'm not stupid. Which is, okay, I'm not gonna say it yet, I'm gonna say it in a second, but if you have a guess, put it into the comment section, let me know, and I wanna see who was the closest, okay? Are you ready for mine? Like, I don't want to ruin your riding. Okay, so my guess is 27 minutes. It's really hard, to be honest, because it's unreliable. The issue is, at 24 minutes, the insane waves of monsters start spawning, right? I think... I think that we can deal with them, but we can't move. At this point, we can't move anymore. The issue will be the boss at 25 minutes, but I believe if I just walk slowly like this, you know, just like this nudging a bit, I might be able to evade him while at the same time walking through the enemies or towards the enemies and killing them very slowly. That is a given. Oh my god, this is the best wave ever. Look at this. Yeah, but very slowly, that is a given. But I think I will be able to do that because Garlic actually has a lot of damage. So the boss will not survive for that long. Man, but I love this wave. Just look at this. There's another one that is as amazing, I think 14, 15 minutes. But this one is like pretty much one of the best ones. Okay, this doesn't work anymore. Yeah, it looks like we had a damage increase. So now they just die, even if I walk towards them. Oh, it looks like we had a damage increase. Yeah, maybe because you picked up spinach. <laughs> It's like, how, how did I forget about that? I think I'm just gonna skip here, to be honest. No, I'm, I can reroll once. Man, now I can, can't go to the right anymore. Like, if you are here and you click D to go to the right, it doesn't work. You have to do it down here. 
Yeah, I'm gonna skip this. So, I want two specific things. And one is the max health. The max health makes sense, right? I actually didn't change the weight there because I discovered this in a run that it makes so much sense to use the max health. Yeah, it was prepared really, really well. But yeah, it makes a lot of sense, right? Because the more health you have, the more damage you can take, the more you can heal up. It makes so much sense. I don't know how I didn't think about that when I was, you know, constantly adjusting the file because I failed again and again and again. Less because I just died. I mean, okay, most of them I randomly died because I stopped paying attention because I'm stupid. But in the other ones, it was just stuff like, oh yeah, I, I am forced into weapons, so let's add the skips, you know, stuff like this. Or, hey, I just added Arca because I want to play Arca, but what if I want to play something else? Let's just show the people, all the heroes, that I will attempt it if I fail, right? So stuff like this. Okay, someone, someone is playing a joke on me because I haven't gotten the hearts to increase our health once. And I don't think I saw the armor. Actually, I did see the armor, but I, I, I wasn't thinking about me being able to just skip, you know? So I didn't want to take the armor there. But there we go. Hollow heart. Amazing. Okay, so this will make it a lot easier. The problem is I'm not really taking damage. So let's get the bat here. Hello, bat. There we go. Let's heal up. So I have some food down here. I don't want to freeze. Actually, I want to freeze the enemies. Yeah, because this gives me some time to pick up the stuff without the bat teleporting in front of me and constantly taking damage. Where is the bat, by the way? Oh my... Mm. <sighs> if you're just looking into the distance, you know, on the left, to see where the bat is and it's right in front of you, that's a meme. That's just a meme. It's hard to see the bed when it's frozen, right? Because it's so small and the frame that usually shows where the bed is, it doesn't do anything when it's frozen because it's also blue. Okay, hollow heart, amazing. Huh, do we want to go for Tiragisu? Or armor? I actually think I want to go for Tiragisu. Yeah, that sounds better. That sounds a lot better. Now, I didn't want to take it because I considered it half cheating, right? Because... Technically speaking, it's it's not just garlic. Now it's a lot of bonuses with Tiragisu especially. Because if we die in a way where we should have died because we're just too weak, then this might save our butt by going to the next minute or something like this. I actually don't think it will have a huge impact, but you know, I want to avoid it. But the, the thing is, I think I'll die. Because every single time I died with the revive and the last one, you know, just dying again. So yeah, I think I need it. Man, this wave. This is the one I was talking about. There are just so many enemies, so you move through them. But look at this, okay? I'll just stand still. Look at this circle that gets created by that. That... Okay, good. Look at the circle. Because this is one of the few waves, except for, like, the super late ones, right? Where everything is full. But this is one of the few waves that will actually create a circle around you. Because most of them, they just die on the right side, on the left side. It doesn't actually make a circle. But if you leave this going for a while, and maybe it's already too late... But if you leave this going for a while, it will create a huge circle. Oh no, the experience isn't dropping. We won't see the circle. You suck. You suck, guys. Oh. I didn't fully realize that, but we do have a huge handicap on us. Don't we? Because I will never ever max out my weapons, right? Like, I will always skip to not take weapons. I can't take the bonus health from leveling up. So even if I'm in a pickle where I just need a lot of bonus health, and I could collect a ton of experience on the ground, I can't use that. It will do nothing. Oh. Well, that will be interesting. Oh boy. Okay, I have to be very careful with these banshees. Now usually, like, you know, there are some sounds in the game that alarm me. Like, for example, when I hear a bunch of bats coming in or when I see them fly, right? Because you know, oh, this is the boss of 25 minutes. I was sleeping. I have to pay attention to this. But the banshees, they just always get pushed away or they die. You know, it's not a threat, right? It's not dangerous. Here it is, though. Here it's really dangerous. So, yeah, I have to keep an eye on that. Okay, just, just stop it. The higher level I become, the harder this will be. And don't worry, I have a, a vacuum over here that will be picked up at minute 29. I think I'll let it go just for 30 seconds to see, can we win? Or 15 seconds maybe, can we win? And then I will collect all experience so the new ones will have the better stats. 
Well, given that we even get there. I guess <gasps> that's a boss man. Why are you so hard to identify? This boss killed me, I think, two out of the three times where I actually died. This is such an annoying boss. And the other time it nearly killed me. I had like I had an entirely black health bar. It's <laughs> like, why? Ooh, that's a good position. Yeah, I'll just collect this now. We'll make it a bit harder, but it also means I get the food that was there. So if we take a quick look at the garlic right now, how much damage it deals. It's 64 as minimum, I think. I think 64 was the lowest one I saw there. I might be wrong and there was no 64. A 66 is, I think, the lowest I see. 65 is the lowest I see right now. And the highest is, I think, 75. It seems to be a range of 10, so that would make sense. And yeah, that means we are... We are doing good. I think we are 50% there. That's not bad. That, wait, that's horrible. Wait, how will I do this? Because now it will just be harder and harder and harder to kill the enemies. Like, it'll take longer and longer and longer. Which means it will be insanely difficult to just level up the garlic. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I was just about to run into the boss to lose some health, but I picked up a fire when I was collecting a chicken, you know, to have full health so I can lose it. And now I can't face the boss, right? Um, how much damage does he do? Okay, very careful. Actually, that was such a bad idea with the banshees, I just realized that. One of them flying into me or me walking into them and I'm dead. Okay, let's not do that. This also, this was also one of the things that actually killed me. It was because of the Medusa, because he took away like 80%. 80% of my health, and then I die to a Banshee, but the Banshee usually does like 20% health or so, if you have armor. And that Banshee was the only one, I got hit by three in a row or so, and that Banshee was the only one who did like 50% health to me. It was insane. Did the boss just die? Oh, there's the chest. I was wondering if the boss just died without dropping a chest. Okay, hold on a second. The last time I looked at our damage, didn't I say it's 65 to 75? And now I think the lowest roll I see is 77 going up to 87. Wait, really? Or was it just so long ago, but I'm like, I'm like, my brain is AFK. Maybe, that could also be. But that's just, yeah, that's insane. We got so much there in such a short time, I think. No, I think it was at 18 minutes, so I guess there was a lot of time. Okay, it's getting a bit more difficult because I can't really move a lot. Like, either I run to the boss or the enemies or the banshee, so it's really dangerous. I think I... I can't even stand still because the witches, they push through. Do you see that? Okay, these banshees are really something annoying. Like, they force me into other enemies and they nearly kill me, like here. Okay, I need some food. This is the big downside of just picking up all the food because, well, there's no more food. Please don't tell me there's another Banshee coming. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, the good thing is we still have our base revive and we have the Tiramigu... Tira, the, 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 the Tiramigu... Tiramigu, yes, that is the name. It's so confusing because I'm used to Tiramisu. That is the way we say it here. And I don't think Italians say Tiramigu, right? Like, they say Tiramisu. Do they? That's actually a very good question. I need to Google that. Like if this is a made up name or if that is actually how they pronounce it. Huh. So I think, I think, I think this is the maximum amount of damage the garlic can do in Arca. I will take a bit of damage from time to time just to see if it goes further. But as far as I read, you're supposed to deal 85 to 95 damage max with Arca. Now, obviously, Antonello, or whatever his name is, the first one with the whip, that now is a garlic, can deal more damage than that. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, he will deal more damage. Actually, quite a significant amount more damage. Like, a lot, a lot more damage. Could you please stop? Could you please stop that? Okay, I'm invulnerable while picking up a chest. That's good. But only for picking up the chest. Uh, I have to hide. Is this enough to win? Or to survive here? 
Wait, what changed now? Why am I killing them now? Is it just because I'm not moving anymore? Because they're not even getting close. This has nothing to do with the bookshelves, right? Like, if I go up here... And here? And maybe here? Yeah, they can't get to me. Wait, that's so easy. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay here just for, you know... Security, safety reasons, but I don't think they can do anything to... Oh my god, the boss is about to spawn. Oh no, I have to get out of here. Okay, come up, guys. Come up, guys. Um, how do we do this? I think I do it like this to kill as many as I can. Yeah, that was good. And now the left ones will just die, and the boss spawns, and I run out. Okay, ru run out. Run out, please. Where's the boss? Okay, he's at the top there. I can do this. I believe in myself. I said I'll not die into this boss again. He's always my doom. He's always my pain. I will do it this time. Oh, we still have two more revives. Okay, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. I can do this. So I will choke these guys. Easy. He walks through the bookshelves, right? What do I do? I need a freeze. Okay, let's walk down and get the candles there. I'm sure there are some ca No, there are no candles left. We haven't been there for ages. He's coming. He's coming. I have to run. I have to run. I have no choice. Okay. Let's go here. Let's just wait until they actually die. Please die. No! Oof. History repeats itself. <sighs> the thing is, I have no idea how much health he has. So it could be that just one cross or one freeze and just focusing on him would kill him. Or he has a buttload of health and it's just not enough. I think the point is proven. This can't be done with Arca, or maybe it can be and you just need a lot of, you know, freezes and crosses. But I didn't want to rely on them. Like, the point is to win with garlic, right? So I think in the future I'll do this again. And I will maybe pick... How much would be good? Yeah, the Antonello. What, what's his name? Actually, Antonio, Antonello, Donatello. Antonio, yes. 